Hi. So today is Autism Awareness Day. So are we aware about the sexual needs of persons with autism or the importance or the significance of sexuality education for teenagers with autism? So let us talk about that. Teenagers with autism develop sexually in the same way as others, other teenagers do. But they might need extra help to build the social skills and understanding that go along with sexual development. Your child will be more or less interested in sex and sexuality, just like any other children of the same age. Your child can develop romantic relationships too which might or might not be sexual. But as parents, you need to be aware of that. You need to understand their desires, their needs. As your child with autism goes through puberty and learns about sexual feelings, you will need to talk with them about sexual relationships. I know it can be difficult, but it is must. It's important for your adolescent child to know that sexual relationships are normal part of life. But your child doesn't have to have sexual relationship if they don't want to. They don't have to have sex to be popular or to fit in or because their peers say they should. Your child also needs to learn about sexual cues from other people. When a teenager with autism knows how to interpret other person's sexual cues, it can build the teenager's confidence. Keep your child safe and prevent your child from unintentionally harming others. Many teenagers with autism can find it hard to understand sexual feelings in themselves as well as in others. But as parents, you can build your child's understanding by helping them break sexual feelings down into thoughts, body sensations, and behavior. For instance, if your child is sexually attracted to someone, what happens? They might have thoughts. They think about the person a lot. There can be body sensations. They have a ting tingly feeling in their stomach or they can get erections when they are near that person. And then behavior. They try hard to find ways to be around the person. It's a good idea to talk about sexuality before children start thinking about sex. With everyone, with every teenager, it is important. You need to be prepared by talking to other autistic adults, researching and first educating yourself. You need to listen to and converse about sensitive topics like gender identity, sexual attitudes, sexual intercourse, and also the applicable legal rights protecting these. When children on spectrum become teenagers, they may want to talk to their parents about sexual relationships. But beyond typical questions, they may want different kinds of information pertaining to relation between specific autism characteristics and sexuality. How do you address questions about physical contact when your child has an aversion to touch? How do you determine if the time is right to explain what a sexual relationship is when your non-speaking child does not seem to be interested in certain topics beyond their interests? Many parents feel rightly so that there are more questions than answers. Unfortunately, sexuality in autistic people is a topic which is still in its fancy when it comes to research and literature. We need to work on that. One of the core characteristics of autism that is persistent challenges in social communication. Parents need to recognize that a differently wired brain may require sexuality education that is tailored to neurodivergent minds. There can be communication differences. And educators may not be equipped to tailor a message 
about sensitive information like sexual health, sexual orientation. They, they don't know how to communicate appropriately to the varying needs of children with developmental disabilities. Realistically speaking, however, the burden falls on parents. Most of the information out there is tailored to neurotypical heterosexual experiences. So parents who want to converse openly and honestly with their kids have to do their homework correctly. They have to do their research and reach out to other parents and support groups. Parents play a major part in raising confidence in children. If your child feels uncomfortable with touch or if they handle emotional intimacy in a unique way, just be encouraging and help them to realize that it is not necessary for them to conform to the sexual expression of neurotypical people. Things can be different. Things can be unique for everyone. Helping your child with self-acceptance means they will be more accepting of others. You can do that. Accepting and respecting the choices and boundaries of others may also contribute to your child's understanding of consent. And consent is very, very important thing. Sexual practices, consent and legal rights are interconnected. Every parent should educate their child and have conversations about these important topics when the child is ready. Communication deficits can render them vulnerable to abuse. It is especially important to ensure the safety of children and adolescents on the spectrum. Research tells us that children with intellectual disability are particularly vulnerable to abuse, abuse of any kind. For women and girls with autism, sexual exploitation is a worrying reality. Girls on the spectrum may be oblivious to the danger and eager to fit in, which makes them an easy target for predators. So they need to be taught about what is safe and unsafe touch. They need to be taught about consent. So as parents, you know your child best. And it goes without saying that Possible asexuality, hypersexuality, hypersensitivity, and hyposensitivity are factors demanding a customized sexuality education. And consent, I repeat, should also form a part of the majority of conversations leading to sexual activity. Neglecting to converse about consent leaves your child open to abuse, and, and it also means that your child may unknowingly act in ways which could compromise the safety of others. Sexuality education is no longer only about warning the teens against sexually transmitted infections or unwanted pregnancies. When our kids are ready, they need all relevant information to ensure that they stay safe physically and emotionally. This means beyond sexuality education, and sexual health talks, sensitive topics like sexual orientation and gender identities should be discussed when your child is ready. Visual supports and social stories are good tools for explaining sexuality to autistic teenagers. So remember that. So and on this Autism Awareness Day, let us be aware of certain things that we don't want to talk about or we try to brush them away or we try to throw them under carpet.